Hello, beautiful people. Today we've got another guide for those who want to trim. We're going to face the memory of Nomad, and let me tell you, I don't like him. He's a big old stinking meanie with control of a god he made called Gilinor, who looks like a nightmare version of Guthix. It's actually very interesting lore. You've already faced Nomad twice, so I know that you can win. Don't let him scare you. Sit back, relax, and let's begin. Let's just get right to it. I'm going to use my normal gear for this one. Scavenging and looting, go burr. No cap. Using Animate Dead will make this fight easier than spreading peanut butter on a cold tile floor. And trust me, my dogs make it look very easy. You can poison Nomad, so Cinderbane gloves and weapon poison is a delicious combo. Real legends don't shame other legends for using a pack yak. You can definitely eat your way through the fight. I brought Ancients, for animate dead and smoke cloud but i'm going to show a kill using air spells and vuln too finally death is not safe here so if you're a baby legend with a baby cash stack maybe consider a ring of death because no one is going to judge you when you're running around with your soul's cape really it's a quick fight and as long as you have some food a shield and a can-do attitude you can get this fight done so let's not dilly dally you're a legend and you were born ready let's go over some tips while we're running to the arena do not attempt to soul split this fight. More on that later. Do use an aura. I use maniacal because accuracy is noise and lower defense stats are spicy. And we like it spicy. Finally, during all phases of the fight, there's a chance for Gilinor to use a special beam attack. Purple beams land on the ground where you see a shadow and hit with magic. Just move or use a defensive. You're a legend, you'll figure it out. In phase 1, Nomad is going to teleport you to the middle of the bridge and tell Gilinor to attack. This isn't a fair fight, but what else would you expect from an evil villain? When this happens, Gilinor is going to hit you with a 3k melee attack. You should be praying magic during most of this fight, so either run towards Nomad to avoid the damage or change to melee to reduce the damage taken. Or just tank it like I did because sometimes it's more fun to just wang it. A legitimate strategy is to face tank damage and hit. After the melee hit, you're going to get red bombs thrown at you, just debilitate or something. You got this. Remember that you'll randomly get magic beams, and after magic beams and the melee hit, there are always red bombs. Each nomad phase has 200,000 life points, so it's time to pull out that big booty DPS that I keep talking about. In phase 2, you're going to face the same mechanics as you did in phase 1, and Nomad is also going to add something new. He will teleport to the end of the bridge and yell at you, can you handle my wrath? Hmm, can we handle it guys? Yes we can. This hits 7500 damage, so you have some choices. Make sure your health is full just in case things happen. I like to use resonance to block the hit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You could also hide behind a pillar, but legends don't hide. We eat damage for breakfast. Disruption shield also works, and so does reflect and debilitate, which will decrease the damage taken. In phase 3, you get the same mechanics from phases 1 and 2, blah blah blah, except he no longer does the yelling bit and he stops being a punk and having Gilinor attack with melee. At 100,000 HP, Nomad is going to spawn a clone of himself and they both hit you. This part is really spicy and debilitate is going to be your best friend. So what do you do? You pick one, kill it, and if you're lucky, it'll be Nomad and you'll phase when it dies. If you kill the clone first, then you're going to have to kill Nomad after. Good times. Choose wisely. Welp, it looks like today is my lucky day. During the fourth and final phase, Nomad stopped using all the other attacks, but Gilinor is going to still throw bombs and beams at you. I mean, we wouldn't want this to be too easy, right? You get stuck in the middle of the bridge between two soul walls and face off against Nomad in an epic last stand. Pray melee because Nomad hits like a dump truck full of big booty DPS. Here you have to kill him before he kills you and that's pretty much it. If you're a baby legend, try using defenses like debilitate to decrease the damage that you take. Oh, and uh, he can cancel your protect prayer so just keep an eye on what's going on. And that's it, you ended Nomad again. Surely this will be the last time we have to worry about him, right? As you can see, I just got all of the capes except for the Cayenne one at once. That's because there's a long, tragic history between me and Nomad. Now that we know what to do, let me tell you a story while we watch an Airspell Gaming Legend kill. 
I wasn't always an unkillable PVM legend with big booty DPS. I used to really suck at PVM, like slamming brews and panic surging for the Vindy range attack suck. I died to General Grar, but not because I was AFK. Oh no no no, because I sucked. You see, I wasn't even max at the time. The way my account was set up when I did this quest was I legit trained magic to 80 just to be able to do it. I had a mystical staff, yes, the free one we got from the build a fair event in 2017 that could be upgraded to a tier 75 weapon. So not only did I suck at PVM, but I was also hella broke. Like running back to my gravestone instead of paying death costs broke. I think you can see where this is going. I took my war tortoise, robes of subjugation, and mystical staff to nomad to do the quest. It was not pretty. After I'm not sure how many failed attempts at this fight, I took a two week break from RuneScape. I suppose some people would call that rage quitting. That's right guys, someone in the comments made a request for me to relive my trauma not even knowing it. But I mean honestly, isn't the best way to get over something to just face it? So I took a two week break. I calmed down, I came back to the game, and I was able to get it done somehow through sheer determination and a lot of running around. Let's just say I never wanted to see Nomad again in my life. So flash forward to 2020. I'm working on Trim Comp and I'm still traumatized from my Nomad encounter three years ago. I had erased all thoughts of this boss until I realized that I had to face him again for a Trim achievement. Fate was laughing at me. You know, everyone handles trauma differently. I'm not proud of myself, but I'm gonna tell the truth because if I'm one thing, it's honest. Because I just wasn't ready to face my fears, and honestly I was so over having to deal with Nomad, I used a death touch dart for a few of the phases and said never again. That's right, my hate for Nomad is greater than my desire to save my death touch darts for something, well, useful. We've all got something in this game that we just cannot be bothered with, and this is one of my things. Even now, when I went to make this guide, I was like, okay, I got this, I'm a legend, Nomad doesn't scare me anymore. <laughs> well, I learned something new. Did you know that if you soul split, Nomad constantly heals himself 10k and you can't beat him? Me neither. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Anyways, let's just say I had to do two attempts to get a kill for this guide. The moral of the story, Nomad is my arch nemesis. So who's your arch nemesis in RuneScape? What's the one thing that just gets you every single time no matter how prepared you are? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to see. Plus, trauma shared is trauma decreased, right? Thanks for watching guys, if you learned something new or had a good time, remember to like and subscribe, and let me know what other guides you'd like to see. See you next time friends!